Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Safely, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. So at the time of me recording this video, the beta is going to arrive for Cold War in four days, and I honestly cannot wait. I'm super excited, I'm really looking forward to it, and I really want to hit some bangers. Ever since the day that we got teased with the alpha, I have just been craving the game. I'm really tired of playing all these other games, man. I just want Cold War, I want to go fully in, and I just want to grind it, man, honestly. Now there has been one thing recently that has kind of been the saving grace of everything, the saving grace of my boredom, and that is going to be the R7. The new sniper rifle that was added to Modern Warfare recently. Now, usually I absolutely hate playing Modern Warfare. Like, I genuinely don't enjoy it at all. But luckily, the sniper has made it kind of an even playing field against a lot of the tryhards. However, they did add a equally kind of broken assault rifle to the game as well. Lobbies by no means have improved at all. They have not improved whatsoever. The play styles really have not changed. I think the main difference is I'm facing more people with snipers now that there's actually a new sniper out. But because of how fast the new sniper is, I have have been able to be rather successful with just going ahead and getting the quick shots off, being able to kind of out snipe a lot of these dudes, but some of these randoms, man, they just always be hitting their shots like left, right, and center, man. I swear some of them are more accurate than me. Like, dude, do you grind this game more than me? Like, there's no way you do, man. But yeah, recently I've actually been streaming a lot of Modern Warfare on my Twitch channel. I'll actually go and put that Twitch channel on the screen right now. If you guys don't know, I do stream, or I try and stream every single day at twitch.tv slash safelyffa, and a lot of people like to go ahead and turn up and see a lot of growth on there, and it's a whole lot of fun every time they come out there it's positive vibes so if you guys love positive vibes come and see me man i mean you guys are already here on the channel so why not go ahead and drop a follow on twitch i'm dead serious come on over there i love showing with everybody but for real i've been playing the game a whole lot and honestly it's been a little bit enjoyable now don't get me wrong there have been moments where i've been raging i haven't been happy but there have been you know it has its moments where i get those little adam sandler lobbies where i'm able to go ahead and just play enjoy it have a good time and then i'm followed up by a terrible lobby because skill-based matchmaking is incredible but at the end of the day, I'll say the game recently has had its moments, but that is not going to stop me from 100% uninstalling it as soon as the full release of Cold War is finally here. Like, dude, Modern Warfare is going to get absolutely wiped off my console. It's honestly kind of crazy, because I don't know if it has something to do with, like, the evolution of players as the game's been going on, but I went back to go and watch some of my older videos whenever, the vi uh, whenever Modern Warfare first came out, and I seriously feel like they upped the skill-based matchmaking. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the players now try so much harder, or maybe their playstyles have just evolved, because I went back to go watch my old, like, clips and highlights from November, like, when the game was first released, and, like, nobody's jumping, there's none of that, like, nobody really has, like, the super ratty playstyle, like, obviously there's still people that are, like, camping and doing things of that nature, but honestly, it's kind of crazy how things have changed over time. The playstyles, man, the absolute playstyles I see on Modern Warfare, they are really really disgusting. I guess while we're on the topic of playstyles and the reason why games are pretty much unenjoyable, I think one main thing that I'm looking forward to, or actually I'll say two main things I'm looking forward to in Cold War is the fact that you can, one, stay in lobbies, and I think that my alarm just went off. You can stay in lobbies, which is something that is super cool. I really, really like that, as well as you can also not die immediately as soon as you get shot. The time to kill is actually not as fast, and I really, really appreciate that because I can actually get a chance to turn around or shoot at somebody without getting melted by two bullets by some dude who's bunny hopping with an mp5 like genuinely it's going to be a relief i can feel it already now i already know there are some people that are just already going into this game with a really negative mindset saying you know what the skill based matchmaking was bad i think the game's going to be bad overall i don't know what we're going to do this is going to be the end of call of duty as we know it for me i think i'm going to try my best to go ahead and adapt with it i didn't really like modern warfare because of the skill based matchmaking that's why i kind of quit halfway through and went to world war ii However, I'm going to try my best to actually put up with it this year. And you know what, dude? I'm just going to try and stick with the good lobbies I get. Because luckily, we get to stay in lobbies now. So if I get a good lobby, if I get an Adam Sandler lobby that's like an absolute banger, I'm going to be able to stay in there, grind it out, until the people leave. Because they're inevitably going to leave once they get slapped around too much. Stuff like that really makes me wonder how good Modern Warfare could have been. Purely if like they let you stay in lobbies, they let you vote for maps and things like that. Like It's the small things that really count. Like the radar, too, man. Like There were so many changes that were made in Modern Warfare that just were not necessary. Like, the developers were, were literally just touching a hot stove, man. Like, they knew they shouldn't have done it, but they did it anyway. Like, I really don't understand. But you know what? I'm not gonna argue with it anymore, man. It's almost... <laughs> it is almost Cold War season, and I am so 
so excited. I'm not going to care about Modern Warfare at all. This game is going to be wiped from my whole entire PS4's existence. And oh my god, I'm looking forward to that day so much. Also, while I'm talking about things that I'm looking forward to and stuff overall, I did want to let you guys know that I did in fact join Team 7 Co. I'll just refer to it as 7. I did join 7. It is a group of really fantastic individuals and I'm really excited to kill things with them. I think Cold War is going to be absolutely insane and I'm looking to stay in 7 until you know basically well, I don't know I don't really have a goal right now I don't have a team that I'm really going for or anything like that I stopped everything for Obey if you guys didn't see on Twitter and you know I'm going I'm trying to go full in on 7 I want to work on me work on my brand work on 7 as a whole and overall I just want to improve over time man and that is the overall thing that I want to do right now I feel like I said overall like 18 times but hopefully you guys get the point I have been streaming a lot so I know that I have not been super active on the channel I actually have been seeing growth because the people that have been coming from my streams have been coming over to the channel and they've been going ahead and showing some Support. So I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and shoot a little high okay one upload a week I know guys it's kind of insane <laughs> But I'm gonna try for one upload a week because at the moment I really haven't been uploading at all So I'm gonna try for one upload a week and then continue with the whole uh, Somewhat daily stream grind that I've been working on and I'm also uploading it to TikTok as well That's something that I look forward to uh, ramping up with the release of Cold War So if you guys don't already have me on TikTok, you know, I'm on there as well I honestly I'd plug it, but I totally forgot forgot what my name is on there uh, but I do have TikTok as well I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff on that but overall I feel like Cold War is going to be a great time for content I'm gonna try and grind that out as much as I can and you know I got really high goals I'm not gonna state them out publicly because you know I've read some things where it's like you know what if you state your goals a lot of the time you won't reach them so I'm gonna keep it to myself I'm gonna try and grind in silence and then make big big moves but anyway guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy make sure to smash the like button comment down below subscribe if you are new I'll see you guys in the next video stay safe